Hello everybody, welcome back. In this lecture, we will discuss about clock gating versus uh, power gating. Uh, in the above diagram, uh, it is clock gating and this is power gating. Uh, using, as we have discussed in the previous sections, uh, clock gating uh, is the concept applied to reduce the uh, ideal power or the static power dissipation uh, and uh, of the active circuits and uh, the power dissipation that has been happened because of the transition of the gate uh, clock. Clock is taking two transitions uh, every time in every cycle so each transition incurs a power uh, dissipation so uh, that uh, power dissipation should not happen to avoid that unnecessary power dissipation what we are doing we are uh, clock gating uh, the blocks wherever it is uh, unnecessary or the blocks which are not in current use are uh, not supplied with the uh, clock so uh, if a circuit is not getting clock that means that circuit uh, the power consumption in the because of the clock switching will be reduced that is the concept so consider uh, one complete one circuit which is uh, uh, active which is active conducting one uh, activity one will have two kinds of power dissipation one is dynamic power dissipation because of the clock and leakage power dissipation because of the circuit structure uh, these uh, are the two kinds of power dissipation that are taking place while that circuit is in active mode. Now, when the circuit is made to sleep, put to sleep, sleep, when it is put to sleep, uh, what we will do, we will uh, um, uh, cut off the clock. So, this dynamic power dissipation will not be there, only leakage power dissipation will be there. So, clock gated leakage power, this is clock gated leakage power. Uh, so, leakage power is a continuous power, whereas uh, dynamic power comes because of the clock activity so this circuit is having good amount of good amount of leakage current throughout the circuit which cannot be avoided by getting the clock so uh, in the three activities in the three uh, continuous activities the same same kind of power dissipation is taking place now uh, observe the second diagram in this diagram you can see this is the power uh, axis and this is the time axis uh, during the activity one you consider uh, leakage power uh, dynamic power this is dynamic power and leakage power during activity during sleep the leakage power all is almost equal in all throughout the uh, time now here what is happening uh, dynamic power and leakage power is similar to this previous case uh, while in activity uh, while in rest at the sleep uh, time uh, the power uh, gated power gated leakage power this is clock gated leakage power which is almost uh, constant throughout the time here leakage power is there of course half of the leakage power is reduced during the power gating time while the circuit is in sleep, the power gated uh, leakage uh, supply is very less. So this is how uh, most of the times the many blocks of a, a functional chip uh, will be in sleep mode. While, uh, while these uh, blocks are in sleep, we apply power gating, not the clock gating. Of course, clock gating will be there. Along with clock gating, we will have power gating. How we will do power gating as we have discussed in the previous uh, section, previous video lecture like uh, MTC mask, uh, we will have two transistors, one at the header and another at the footer. Uh, this uh, the, act, the low threshold low threshold voltage circuit uh, will be used to have high speed uh, that is low delay activity. But this low delay activity circuits uh, incur large leakage powers. Uh, so, uh, this large leakage power will be taking place during its operation. During its operation, large leakage power is taking place. Now, by connecting uh, high threshold voltage transistors, one at the header and then one at the footer, will reduce your uh, leakage power dissipation while in sleep. This is leakage power dissipation while in sleep. Now, this is drastically reduced because 
uh, because the circuit will be disconnected from the actual power supply and connected to the virtual power supply lines. This virtual power supply lines are the virtual lines which are not direct, not the direct power supply lines. Uh, this concept, uh, this concept reduces gate to source voltage, gate to source voltage of all the transistors. When the gate to source voltage is reduced, the sub threshold leakage current will also reduce, gets reduced. So that is the concept by uh, inserting power gating transistor and see uh, as just now I have told you uh, two transistors one at the footer above the supply line uh, above the virtual supply line and um, below the actual supply line that is between the virtual and uh, actual supply lines there is a P, P transistor and be between virtual ground and the physical ground there is one N transistor uh, is actually used in empty CMOS technology uh, because um, charge uh, majority charge carriers in P mass are holes uh, and majority charge carriers in M mass are electrons. To meet W by L ratio or the channel resistance properly, the size of the P mass transistor must be three four times larger than the N mass transistor and. This, in fact, is an unnecessary um, transistor that is that has been placed uh, that will be asked to place uh, in the power supply between the virtual and the physical power supply lines. So that uh, P mass transistor you can uh, avoid, and you can use only N mass transistor at the ground. If you if you if you provide a cutoff at even at the source or at the ground, that will be fine to have. Uh, to not, not having power dissipation. So that is the idea. Uh, by avoiding all P mass transistors at the, at the supply, we have reduced the uh, space overhead. It will consume, because it is larger in size, it will definitely consume, consume a considerable amount of space over the chip. So we are, we are saving chip area. In the chip area, we can have some other logic. Chip area, cost and power. So, by uh, now coming back to this, the, by inserting power gating transistors in the stack, uh, in the stack between the logic transistors and either, uh, either in power and ground, the logic block contains low VTH transistors for fast switching activities. The, the switch transistors, header and footer are built with using high VTH, just now we have discussed it. So, this is about clock gating versus power gating. Clock gating, of course, reduces the power consumption, but uh, power gating reduces the leakage power dissipation that will happen while the circuit is in sleep or hibernate mode. I hope you understood. Thank you.